Hi, I'm Alex Daly for Alex Tech Tips. I mean Daily Driver. So today, in this video, we're going to see if a car nerd can study up for two months and become a computer nerd. I'm tired of using 10-year-old hand-me-down laptops to edit my stuff for my auto channel. So, over the last two months, I've been buying up some pretty great gamer parts. Kind of an Asus tough fanboy, but we got a nice Intel i9, uh, some Noctua cooling, the motherboard was a little tricky to get, that's brand new DDR5. Um, this is great, 4070 Ti, got 850 watts of Corsair power. Alright, let's make it happen, Captain. Now a lot of this is open box, I saved like $450 on open box. So we're going to take special care in making sure everything actually works. I was told I might need these. Got the biggest one I could find. This actually has some magnetic spots for tiny screws too. These are pretty cool. They're mainly marketed as soldering, but they'll be good for construction. Asus Tough Gaming Z790 plus Wi-Fi. When I started looking, these were basically unreleased yet in January. So it finally came into stock. Um, this is specifically a DDR5 motherboard. So I made the DDR5 decision pretty early on and stuck with it. Um, I was surprised at how comprehensive Tough Gaming's lineup is. Um, I'm not super duper knowledgeable about PC parts, so I figured just stick with them. Um, usually I'm more of a hot rodder. All right, let's see those military grade capacitors, Asus. I don't know, Linus says Asus, but they say it's like Pegasus. So Asus is pretty close, right? LGA 1700. Ooh. Oh boy. Intel has very cool packaging. No cooler, I picked up a nice Noctua. This was pretty great open box at Micro Center. I'm fortunate enough to live outside Philly uh, in Monco and there's a Micro Center in like Villanova St. David. So I saw this i9, smoking i9 open box for 347 and made my way over there real quick. What's next? RAM? I guess RAM, then SSD. Yes, there are some RGBs in this. I did pay extra for RGB RAM. Expensive RAM, DDR5. Vengeance, 6200. All right, being a little ginger with this RAM. Need it need to give it the old what for. There we go. The dummy ram is cool. There we go. And what's next? A nice two terabyte with hit heat sink. WD Black Gamer SSD perhaps. This was new. Noctua NHU12A. I love the brown, but for this build, it felt like a black. Oh, this comes with thermal. And a sweet owl case badge. All right, how does this all work? LGA 1700. Ooh. 
nice. This thing's kind of a monster. I guess this is the bottom. First screw bolts into screw threads of the LGA socket frame. Ooh, I get to use my micro drivers. One side, two sides, where do these plugs go, are these motherboard plugs or power supply plugs? I think there's a CPU one, CPU fan, there we go, oh of course this is backwards. I think this thing's gonna be huge. It's supposed to be a mid tower, but it's a gigantic mid tower. I didn't buy any extra fans. This thing comes with like four fans. It is quite large. When I started this, I didn't know cases didn't have optical drives anymore. Nice. This is one of the big reasons. These tough gaming straps. So I can carry it to the beach for editing sessions. What's this, an extra grill? It's also just a nice case. USB 3.0 on the front panel. I didn't know everything was RGB. I thought it was like yellow in here, but it has three RGB fans in there too. Yeah, it's like an extra screen and cover for one of the sides. Then there's a little present inside. There's a cardboard box in there. Oh, nice. It's the front and top dust filters. So this looks like the top, maybe. No. Sick. Top dust filter is magnetic. 
Look at that. Well, I guess this goes in here somewhere. Oh boy, that Mobo is looking all rigged up. All right, let's open this sucker. Thanksgiving giblets bag. What's going on here? Uh, I think it's the ends of the cables. It's the fan terminations. And this is like standoffs and standoff tool. Yeah, a bunch of screws. Zip ties. Sweet. These straps are nice. They're big, heavy cotton. I guess they're Velcro too. Polyester, possibly. like we got one more, two more. All right, just one more on the side of the cooler there. I gotta figure out how to plug this all in. All right, I got my motherboard manual. I'm going to open the PSU. I think that's where we're at to rig this up. This was open box. Ironic because I'm having trouble opening it right now. There we go. Nice Corsair 850. Do we get a case badge for the Corsair? Comes with a whole big bag of shit. It said cables included in the open box description. Yeah, Corsair case badge. And then, uh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be like the car stereo. Do you think Windows comes with a case badge? All right, what do we got here? We're going to have to get into the graphics card soon, too. So this goes in here, but I should probably do some setup before I install it, right?
right, time to start plugging in. So motherboard, main ATX power, 24 pin ATX. Boom. And then this type four, I guess, goes in here. It's right here. A lot of fan plugs from the case. Where do those go? There's like a whole wiring harness here in the case. What is this? There's like a remote. Gotta read the case manual too. Well, one thing I gotta do is I didn't peel the sticker off the I.O. The case manual will tell us what the cords are. And then the motherboard manual should tell us where to put them. Oh, we haven't even gotten to the front headers. They're on the back. All right, let's take this back panel off. Oh, there's some stuff going on back here. All right, so there is a CPU optional fan. I'll take off that Y splitter and give them their each their own. All right, now both CPU fans have their own place on the motherboard. It says here there's four more plugs for fans, so that should do this case. Three in the front, one back here. All right, we removed some wires from the case. Our nice motherboard has enough spots for all the fans on the case. All our fans are plugged in. Give her the old reach around. All right, we're getting there on power. I gotta hook up this front panel, perhaps. This is an M2 heatsink, I think. But there's a sticky thing on the back. So my two terabyte Western Digital Black heatsink does not allow. For this little cover, store it with extra parts. We do have a hard disk drive in addition to the solid state. 10 terabyte Western Digital Black. Get our 10 terabyte guy nice and bolted into the cage. Hook her up, put it back in the case. Vengeance DDR RAM is in. Look up some. Lucky for our disk drive, I found some SATA cables in the motherboard box. Even one with a nice right angle or a straight. Also, I gotta turn these fans around.
basically just going page by page in the motherboards and plugging everything in. So we need to find the case RGB. This thing has a SATA drive, this controller. Maybe I'll figure out what's going on with this RGB once I get this thing running. Damn close though, there's not much left. This RGB jumble. I don't know man. Front panel audio, we need that. We'll go back to RGB. This thing really doesn't tell you anything about the fans they put in it. See, there's like a physical controller for the case fans. So I think I just fixed it so I can plug the RGB into the motherboard instead of this dinky controller that plugs into SATA power. Right, so this is three fans. One fan, two fan, three fan. Then we boop through here. They have a daisy chain kind of thing standard going on. This case has nice cable management. All right, nice. We got the fans, RGB, hooked up to the motherboard. All right, I think we might be ready to open up our RTX 4070 Ti. Righteous. The little bag that comes with the nice Corsair power supply. This is going to feed the graphics card. Feed me. So this 4070 is the last thing I bought for this build. I've been saving for like two or three months. And at the very beginning of it, GPUs were out of control. So I basically bought everything and hoped for some magic to happen. And 3000 series prices came down a little bit, but they stayed pretty crazy. But this 4070, the price dropped by 50 bucks, and I was able to get it at MSRP on a nice trip to Micro Center. Destination is on your right. All right. I guess we should get a car in Oh, Well, this is a 
Hello. Can you help me find a graphics card? I am looking for a 4070 Ti Tough Gaming. Are you looking open box or new? If you have an open box, that'd be fine, but open uh, new said you have two in stock too. Yeah, I don't see any 4070 Tufts in here. I can go grab one from the back for you. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, any protection plans on that case you overclock and burst into flames? No, that's right. All right. And if you have the Micro Center credit card, it's 5% off as well. No. Can I have a name so they know who to give it to? Alex Daly. 4070 Ti Tough. And normally I do car stuff, so I'm a car nerd building a PC. So, okay. Yeah. Anything else today? Uh, I was looking for a, um, there's an iFixit screwdriver kit, an electronics repair kit. Mm -hmm. It's the $80 one. Okay. Yeah, Harbor Freight came out with one that looks identical, so I want to see. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any tool kits would be down aisle 12, I believe. All right, cool. I'll talk to one of the folks in the middle there. You mm -hmm. said it was Alex? Yeah. All right. It'll be up front in just a moment. All right, thanks a lot. Let us know if there's anything else to do. Thanks. Hey, can you show me where the iFixit stuff is, like the screwdrivers and tools are out twelve? All right, thanks. <sighs> Micro Center, the only place where I've heard the word Reddit in person. Sorry for the camera. Normally I do car stuff, so I'm building a really nice editing PC. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then there's a graphics card out here. That nice 47. Yes, we do. So in the back right corner of our store from here is our the Asus Tough Gaming. I think it's the one on Alex. Yeah. Oh. I saved the most expensive part for last. Sure. Okay. I'll just get you your receipt. And then prices kind of came down too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any coverage on the other part? No, it's right. $9.32.78. For Al, then I guess. That is the last and most expensive part of the PC. Well, let's see, I haven't bought a console in forever. This is kind of the same thing.
They opened up a credit card just to buy this baby. True Kevin Smith moment. And I think this is a support stand. All right, it goes into the one with the quick release. Pretty simple. I'm so fucking dumb. two up to and so what they're talking about is if you hook two up to it maybe don't just hook up these daisy chain ones do two actual off the power supply that seems to make sense All right boom two separate PCIe for this 4070 and then we will hook these up to the splitter right Second power cord into the splitter for the GPU. And then plug this power cord off the splitter with the nice NVIDIA logo into the GPU. Boom. All right, buddy. That might have been it. Let me think. I think you put some case covers back on and I don't know. What's in this Windows box? I haven't bought a legit copy of Windows and oof. God knows. little booter. No case badge, bro. What's up with that? This can go back on. Plug in some headers. This thing's getting heavy. All right, sweet. Let's put the covers back on. Getting those headers back in after putting the uh, power shroud is pain in the butt. Almost forgot. So I got some case badges, and then kind of like the. Uh, case charm some people put in there, but I don't want anything jangling around. So I have this little racer man. We're gonna hot glue gun him somewhere in there. He's gonna keep an eye on things for us. Got a little Mopar logo on his back. He came with a little Matchbox Jeep XJ. Gotta open a monitor soon too. We'll see if this thing gets power first. Oi. There you go, nice little Moloch Owlman, nice little sailboat, powered by Corsair, cooled by Noctua. A little pile of molten glue for him to stand in.
Yes, I even have an Asus Tough Monitor. Glorious 28 inch 4K monitor. No tool stand. Have the tough gaming monitor for the tough gaming case for the tough gaming GPU oh, for the tough gaming motherboard. So we need some peripherals. We got this nice five dollar thrift store keyboard, the Dell I remember from back in the bit day. It has kind of this outline look, very minimal, decent enough. USB, and then we'll see how it goes to go with the keyboard. What better for car YouTube than a car mouse? Nice. This is the coolest one I could find. It's an Aston. Aston. No logos, of course. It's pretty cheap. It was on Amazon. We'll see how it works. It has a little scrolly wheel. The headlights light up. Let's see. And if that doesn't work, I have a Logitech I got from the thrift store, too. Ooh. Asus. No signal. Got a treat for audio. Vintage Roland monitors. Teeny tiny coax. These are cute. All right, what do you think? Ooh. All right, everything's making some cool colors. Oh, 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 look, it's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. New CPU installed. Look, it's doing a thing. God damn it. Now I don't know what it was, but look. Oh, there we go. F1. It did it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. I love mouse and BIOS. That's how old I am. Remember when it, oh. Oh, look at that. Car mouse works. Car mouse. All right, I don't really know what I'm looking at though. Cool, we're looking at a lot of fans running. That's good. We see our RAM. Why does it only say 48 megahertz? Oh, 6200. We see our MOBO. We see our CPU. We know our GPU is working because um, it's displaying. Sunday, 722. I'm going to get this to Wi-Fi. What you're seeing here is me trying to diagnose display problems. The system posted and I was able to get Windows 11 installed, but the display kept giving me trouble. I checked and checked and rechecked. Finally, I removed the GPU, which just got me to a Windows 11 home install problem. Pro doesn't have this problem, but at a certain point during the install, if you tell it you have internet, you can't go back. I did some research and this is a common problem. I found a go around by bringing up a command prompt to prompt an out of box experience. Then on the next round, I told it I didn't have internet before it was too late. After I refreshed myself on unallocated drives, I had a little dance with the NVIDIA software where it wouldn't allow me to install a 4070 Ti driver without the card installed, but the card wasn't outputting video. The workaround for this I found was to enable onboard graphics for the second monitor. Then I could plug the monitor into the motherboard and still have the graphics card installed. All right, now we can get in with the graphics card installed. We're still running off the motherboard, but I think we can run NVIDIA now and get us our working graphics card. 
Let's see what the NVIDIA systems check has to say this time. All right, I switched in the BIOS for the iGPU to use multiple monitors, which means I could use the integrated graphics in the motherboard while still having the graphics card plugged in. And then I was able to get in, download the driver, boom, 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 all good. It's a lovely table. It says my CPU is currently second in place to a 32 core Threadripper 2990WX. I got the two pack because I figure this is going to cover me for any sort of retro. Even Genesis, it's half decent, NES. And then anything modern is the Xbox 360. Classic. Ready? Alright, I think this pad works. Yeah, that's what's annoying and why I never really got into like Call of Duty because the the uh, learning curve is too steep. It's just like not. F yeah. Ghost is like the best vehicle. Oh yeah, you can get uh, the EMP. What? I'm right behind you. Oh yeah, let's do it. Nice. I'm way across. I'm all the way on the other side. You can now, when you're in a war dog, you don't... Shoot, shoot, shoot! Nice! Yeah, 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 that's perfect. We're not really good against the plane. Oh! How about, how about, fail, fail, next. That sniper's gonna be on us. Ah! Right, that was right good shit, though. Three of them right in the middle. We put a very good hit on the plane. That's sweet. Nice. Yeah, I'm coming towards you guys Screw right that now. Guy. Bye. Yo, 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 let me hop on. Yo, 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 yo. Take the other hop. Alright, let's do it. Oh, no. God damn it. Plane. Nice. Alright, I think this project was just frustrating enough to be a great success. The only problems with the open box stuff we had was a little damage on one of the monitors. Otherwise, the big gambles like the processor worked out great. Can't wait to start making some high quality content with this quality editing machine and the gaming isn't bad either. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Daly for Daily Driver.